How's it going everyone? Chaos Prime Zero here with another Destiny 2 video. So today I wanted to discuss Crucible and how it's changed from Destiny 1 over to Destiny 2. So the biggest transition has obviously been the 6 to 4. Previously Destiny used to have Crucible at 6 versus 6 and much bigger maps. So this gave people a lot more freedom in how they wish to play. You had the group that used to walk around as a group and play as a team and then you usually had one or two that went around as a lone wolf and this also gave them the ability to do that especially with the way the map was so big however with destiny 2 things have changed and i'm not quite sure if this is a good thing i mean i don't mind the way crucible is now in destiny 2 however it almost feels like the game forces you to play one way and one way only if you play as a group and stick together, the chances of you winning are extremely good. And even if you don't win, your games will be so closely fought that it will actually be somewhat entertaining. However, you still feel that you're restricted to play a certain way. And this is the biggest problem I'm having right now with Crucible in Destiny 2. This morning I jumped into Crucible and the biggest problem I had was I had four random people in my group but then we were faced against a full clan now that doesn't necessarily mean that that full clan is going to play well or that full clan is going to be better than you but what it means is they're more organized because they're probably playing as a group and having voice communication so they know what they're doing, they're organising themselves. Whereas the group I was in, albeit this was quick play, wasn't doing this. And it seems the algorithm that's currently in play for Destiny 2 doesn't cater for the fact that I'm jumping in solo so I expect to play with solo players. The other transition is the fact that this whole mentality of group play just hasn't sunk into people yet. I've had a few games today where the games were absolutely amazing. They were so close. I lost by a couple points. I won by a couple points. You know, it was fiercely fought and it was thoroughly enjoyable. However, I still had to play a certain way. The game did not allow me to play the way I wanted to play. You play the way the game wants you to play. And that's not how Crucible was. And it shouldn't be how it is. That sort of gameplay should be left to the competitive and Trials of Osiris as it was in Destiny 1 and Trials of 9 as it is here. But in quick play you shouldn't be up against full clans or you know things like this. You should be able to play the way you want. But with the way the maps are designed, with the way the team formations are designed in a 4 versus 4 skirmish-esque type of way you don't really have a choice. If you run around and have no backing, the, f the chances are you're going to go in front of a firing squad with three or four people, and the moment they see you, you're dead within a second. This isn't fun. On top of this, Bungie decided to give everyone the Meet a Mighty tool. Like, why? Could they not have seen that this was going to be the most used, overused, Weapon in Crucible by far? I mean, why would you give a grade A? Okay, albeit the weapon was nerfed, I get it. But every time I die to someone, it's by the Mida tool. It's very rare that I get killed by something else. And I find right now, the one weapon that you get for free in the game without any effort being the meta is a seriously, seriously bad design flaw. It's like you've got no other option but to use the MIDA. This isn't counting the people that are using those hacked controllers that actually now can auto fire the MIDA tool. I'm not even going to go into that debate. I'm hoping Bungie can see what they're doing and ban them because an auto firing MIDA tool is ridiculously powerful. You don't stand a single chance against something like that. So I'm not even getting into that debate. So what are the problems with Crucible in Destiny? Well, 
if you're having a good if you're in a good team and you have no Rambos, then you're having a good as good as a time as you're gonna get. However, what happens more often than not, especially in quick play, is the fact that you do get the Rambos. You do get the lone wolves. As soon as the round starts, no matter what you tell the people, you can't tell them how to play their game. And they're used to playing Crucible in a certain way. Everyone goes their own way. I'm stuck there in the middle, wondering which way to go, who to go with, because we're all going to die. And if you play this way, unless the opposing team is also playing in this manner or in this fashion, you're guaranteed to lose. There is no way you're going to win. The last game I played on Crucible, where everyone decided to go their own route, we lost by 45 points to 6. Lord Shax eventually just called the game and forfeited it. It's the first time I've ever seen this happen in Destiny 2. I've been playing over 80 games in Crucible, and normally it's bad. But the divide between a group of actually communicating or sticking together and playing as a team and for a group that wants to play the game how they want to play it is too big and I think this needs to be addressed this needs to be addressed quickly Bungie needs to step in change their algorithm and stop single player people coming across clans not clans as in clans because everyone is part of a clan but in the sense of a four group team that's part of the same clan this wasn't the case with destiny 1 and there's no reason at all why it should be the case with destiny 2 it's really disappointing to see and really demoralizing you jump into a game you see that the opposing team has four three four people from the same clan you look at your team and you've got the next three people that are completely different clans. There's no communication happening here. And God forbid should you try to talk to anyone, you're completely going to get ignored anyway. So there's no point. People won't listen, don't want to listen, and don't want to talk. This isn't the PC community where communication is great. The console community has always been, I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to say nothing to anyone. I just want to play my own. This has been the mentality for console players for quite some time. So, assuming that this was going to change because of one game mode is silly and shouldn't have been the case. That being said, Crucible is not a bad mode. It's fun, engaging, entertaining, and when it works, it works. And when it's working, it's insanely fun. You have some really vicious, fiery firefights. They are full on and when you have those games it's what crucible is all about and when you do find those games it's great it's fantastic but they are so few and far between that when you do try to find them they're never there and you're always on the losing end when it comes to everything else because you end up in a team that doesn't want to play they just want to become Rambo and run around and shoot everything and this is not the way the game is designed. But trying to get people to change is not easy and I don't believe Bungie made enough of an effort to get this new mentality of game mode into people's mentality. There's nothing there so people still assume that the Rambo method works and it doesn't. Albeit you have now Bungie trying to get rid of the KD ratio and instead they have this new efficiency ratio which rewards you not only for the kills that you do in the game but for captures, um, supremacy pickup tokens, they reward you for pretty much everything you do, assists, but then you have Division Tracker which is an unofficial third party website and that clearly dictates your KD. The fact that this information is still publicly available means that people are going to play in a way where, especially when it comes to supremacy, do not play the objective. And it ruins the experience. 
Yesterday when I was playing Supremacy, the opposing team didn't even care about picking up the orbs. They were just running past them. All they cared about was killing their opponents. This isn't Clash. This isn't Control. This is Supremacy. This is supposed to be the one mode where picking up the orbs is what you're supposed to do. And God forbid should someone actually try and pick up those orbs, you'll be destroyed within a second even before you remotely get close to it. Clearly there's not much Bungie can do about this other than the fact that reducing, negating, sorry, any um, kills that you do in that game mode to zero. So it will not affect your overall bonus. The only thing that should be affected by this game mode should be how many orbs you recover from a dead ally or from a dead opponent. That would fix this mode immediately. But yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. So where does this leave Crucible? In my opinion, right now, in its current state, this leaves Crucible in a massive mess. One of the best things about Crucible in Destiny 1 was the f vast amount of game modes it had. Supremacy, Rift, Clash, Rumble, Salvage, Combined Arms, which actually allowed you to use vehicles on some of the bigger maps that were there. Elimination, which was a kind of user-friendly version of Trials of Osiris. Zone Control, Inferno, Mayhem skirmish and doubles these i mean the vast amount of modes available were great what was even better was the fact that for the most part you could play any option of these options you wanted to yes they rotated what was available on a weekly basis but you had the choice if i wanted to play clash right now i'd go into the clash playlist and play clash if i wanted control I'd play Control. If I wanted Rumble, I'd go play Rumble. I had the choice. This choice is gone with Destiny 2. You don't have a choice. You only have Quick Play and Competitive Play. And from Fridays, you have the Trials of the Nine. In Destiny 2, you have Control. You have Skirmish. You have Clash. Countdown as the new uh, game mode. And Survival. But you don't get an option of what you want to play. If you want to play Clash, well, good luck. May the RNG of gods bless upon you to have a chance of playing the mode you want to play. For me, Supremacy is probably the worst game to grace Destiny because no one plays the game mode. No one plays the objective. Everyone just runs around like it's Clash. For some reason in Destiny 2, that seems to be the most popular game I get. I don't want to play Supremacy, I want to play Control, I want to play Clash. Why can't I choose what I want to play? This is a really big fundamental flaw with Destiny 2 and its Crucible variant as opposed to Crucible in Destiny 1, which gave you the choice from day one. Why change something that worked? There's a saying, don't fix something that's not broken. This seems to be the current ethos with everything to do with Destiny 2. They force you to play a certain way, and if you decide to play outside of this set model, you're going to have a really horrible time in Crucible. If you go quick play and just jump into a quick game and want to just enjoy the experience on your own, well, if you come across a group that doesn't want to play the way the game is designed to be played, you're going to have a bad time. If you come across a group of four on the opposing team that's part of a clan, you're going to have a bad time. If you, however, are lucky and do come across a group that you join that actually wants to play the game the way it's supposed to be played, stick together as a team, move as a unit, then you're going to have a really good time. However, if I wanted to play the game in this way, I would go and load up Tom Clancy's and start playing Ghost Recon's PvP. Or I'll go and play another Tom Clancy game. This isn't a tactical shooter. This is a space shooter. This shouldn't be played this way. And this is the problem. It's trying to be something it's not. And most likely because Bungie wants to become 
an eSport with Crucible. But I feel they're sacrificing too much. The Trials of Nine was enough to be an eSport. Why would they have to interfere with the core gameplay of Crucible from 6 to 4? I find this is the biggest problem. The 4 player outing means that people walk around in a unit and if you encounter anything like this you've got no chance of survival if your team isn't playing the same way and that's the key here you have to play the same way you have no option you have no alternative it's one way and one way only I really do hope Bungie looks into this in the coming months and addresses this problem because as of right now Crucible is becoming worse and worse and it's a shame because Crucible is one of those events I thoroughly enjoyed in Destiny 1 and I really want to enjoy it in Destiny 2 and I probably will continue playing it because you still come across those few games where it's fun and everyone is on the same wavelength regardless of communication and it's those games that you look out for and it's those games that get your adrenaline pumping but the fact that they're so far and few in between means that people are going to start getting pushed away from crucible people i walked into a few games and people were just sitting there doing nothing i assume most likely for their milestone and this is going to be start to become more and more apparent and I really don't want this for Crucible because it is a great mode. It is one of those modes that allow you to keep coming back to Destiny. It is what I call the longevity endgame of Destiny. So please Bungie, if you do watch this, if you do hear about this, and if you're looking online on Reddit and everywhere else where people are complaining about similar problems like this and are starting to get turned off by Crucible because of these issues, Please look into these and try to address them. We all love Crucible. Make it great again. Get the balance right. So we can all start to enjoy the great experience that Crucible is. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video and you wish to participate, leave a comment below. I read every comment that's been made and I will respond to each and every comment as, I, as deemed necessary. Um, if you like this video, drop a like. If you agree with it and want to see more cr Destiny content, uh, drop that subscribe. It does mean a lot to me and it does enable me to make these videos more often and continue to doing what I do enjoy. As always, Guardians, till next time. Ten seconds. Victory is all I ask. Good. Zones control. Targets eliminated. Nice work.